Hello Leo, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. I hope that you guys are doing well. Or if you're a Leo cross watcher, I hope that you're doing well. So we have the Eight of Wands here. Someone could be wanting to, okay. Um, what I'm getting from this specifically is like someone might be somehow being a little bit of a show off in terms of their actions or trying to put up like this front about who they are or what they have because they're scared like it's coming from a place of fear so they oh so they're like being a pretender because they're scared they could be scared of being played, or they could be scared of being an option. So, they want to make them seem like they want to make themselves seem like the best option in this situation. They could also be stuck in a little bit of like this belief structure that is kind of having a negative effect on them. Like they're really. It seems like there's a lot of comparison of themselves to other people and what what they think the ideal would be for their life to look like to other people, if that makes sense. So it seems like this person is in a situation right now where they're not really paying attention to, this could be you, this could be the person that you're dealing with, but it seems like they're not really paying attention to their innermost desires and what they truly appreciate and want to be and to have. They're more paying attention to, like, what would be cool if I have this or what would be cool for me to be like, you know? They're kind of stuck in this, like, display case of wanting to be a certain way, to appear a certain way to other people. We also have the Seven of Swords here. So, behind this, like facade that it seems this person is putting up. This could just be someone in your life as well, but behind that there's a lot of fear. They could have dreams and like worries about how things will turn out between you guys, but this is really some sneaky behavior here. It could be just the fact that this person is kind of not revealing their true self to people that is kind of deceptive because this card is about like deception and trickery so yeah it could be like this front is just deceptive which it is it could be that underneath that they might not have the best intentions unfortunately for other people it's like this person didn't see progress. This is like a really specific reading for some Leos. This person didn't see progress in a certain area of their life and they weren't patient about it so they tried to make these changes and it could have been something that was like internal, something with their behavior and they weren't patient with themselves enough to like see it through so they created this false almost identity instead which is like I think that this person will understand what's going on with themselves eventually, but it will take some time before, like, they understand. It's a really strange reading. Hmm. Okay, so this is from Asking It Is Given. It is not about controlling my thoughts, it is about guiding them. When we, oh, whoops. We are not encouraging you to make an effort to control your thoughts but instead to more or less guide your thoughts. Reaching for the way you would like to feel is an easier way to hold your thoughts in vibrational alignment with that which you believe is good. Yeah, so um, it's difficult to control your emotions as well as your thoughts. And I think this about guiding them as well, like just trying to bring yourself energetically without necessarily any specific thoughts but just like focusing on your energy and your emotions, if that makes sense. And this will eventually kind of guide your thoughts away. 
from, by just like shifting your emotions and your energies in any way that you can. I hope that made sense. So, just as all of your experiences from the time of your birth into your physical body now, from the time of your birth into your physical body until now have accumulated into who you are. All that has ever been experienced by all that is has accumulated into all that is now being experienced in the physical experience on planet earth. That was difficult to read. I'm standing on the leading edge of thought. So this is kind of about everything that you experience and everything that you are makes you who you are. And as you continue to change your experiences, you eventually will change as well. No one goes through life the same person, you know? So I think this is also about Trying to decide almost what you experience in the present moment, in your present life, for the next week, like what's, what is your experience going to be in life, and this will, by having this kind of direction, this guidance to how you're going to feel and what you want to do, you will accumulate or accumulate different experiences for yourself that could be more positive, if that makes sense, and that changes in turn who you are because you would have experienced differently. So we have support. Your life purpose fully supports you. And this was in reverse. You could be not feeling like you have this person's support or maybe that you don't have support from a lot of other people. Really check in with yourself and see if what you're doing, what you have, what your goals are, are really, if this could possibly be you. Really make sure that all of that, like check in with yourself, really make sure your life path, things like this, what you're presenting to other people is true to who you are and who you want to be rather than what you might think will be the most supported option for your life. Like people will, instead of thinking like, oh, people really appreciate this or this is really useful for the people around me or like this, people will admire me if I do this, think about what will make you the most happy and don't worry too much about if other people will support this because there will people be people out there who do support who it is that you truly want to be or what you want to do. So we have sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So you could be kind of, I'm getting for some either Leos or the people that they're dealing with, someone's kind of going through a spiritual transformation about their sense of self and I don't really think that this is necessarily like too bad of a thing what's going on with this like person who is pretending it's not necessarily a negative thing because I think it will bring this person to a place of understanding that that the story that they tell themselves about or the story the story they tell themselves about themselves or what they try, the story that they try to present to other people isn't necessarily who they are. That's not the core of their spirit. That's not the core of their consciousness, if you will. So I think someone's kind of just pretty sensitive to to that idea right now, I suppose. So we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So. If this person seems kind of distant or like they're trying to keep their options open, I think that they do think you are worth waiting for. And even though they're kind of scared of, it seems like this person's just like scared of being an option to you. So they're just trying to, you know, present what they think it is that you will like. Um, if this is your person, we also have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So it could be, if you are presently with this person, be sure to just have like, you know, make little plans for yourself to have a good time with this person where you can just enjoy each other's company and, you know, relax and be happy like a honeymoon. That makes sense. This person could also be waiting, it could be you or this person, like someone's really trying to wait for things to be 
better for this relationship to be more harmonious, if you will. So we also have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So someone someone has to release their ex. You or this person is still kind of really holding on to their ex maybe too tightly and they just need to clear their energy like on a daily basis. Of course, people that you've had like deep connections with are still going to be somewhat on your mind most of the time. Like you don't forget about them completely, but at least on a daily basis that shouldn't be what your emotional focus is on, you know, um, especially if you're with someone else. Huh, it's a really weird reading because it's like, I think someone's just going through a lot of changes right now, internally, and that might reflect on this relationship in kind of a strange way. So this is messages from your angels, we have Omega. Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So whatever it is that you're really waiting for and that you're really trying for, it is coming to fruition. It has made a difference. Um, if you feel like you're putting work towards something and you're kind of running out of patience, it's kind of like felt like you were just putting work in not seeing results, it looks like you will have some fruits of your labor here. So we have Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance. You deserve heaven's help. We also have support in reverse, so be sure to, if you're not feeling supported by the people around you, be sure to, perhaps if it's something that you believe in, talk to your angels and know that you're supported by them. Ask them for assistance or guidance and this will help you to feel supported, like supported and protected on a on a spiritual level, on an emotional level. So you can talk to Fiona the Angel for divine guidance and assistance. If you would like to. So we have liberation. Someone, yeah, someone's kind of trying to free themselves from something. It could be you. You could be trying to free yourself from this situation. We also have abundance in reverse. So I think like this person, it's, so, it's such a specific reading, but this person who's kind of like putting themselves in a box that they don't belong in is what it seems like. Eventually their true colors and their true desires will be free to be expressed and lived out through their life. It's just going to be a little bit of a wait. We also have abundance in reverse, so it seems like this person, this seven of swords and eight of wands character, and like the moon, they, it's kind of a lack mentality about themselves or what they have, you know about their life because they have to create this false, this false thing, because they're feeling like what, what it is that they truly have isn't enough. So I think it's really important, if this is you, because it could be some Leos, it could be some some people that the Leos are dealing with, I think that something that will really help is gratitude for just trying to take some time out of your day every day to appreciate the things that are really important to you and that you truly value, the things that you have, because I think a lot of people have more than they think. So it's just really important to be to be grateful, like even if you're like taking a shower, like I'm just grateful that, you know, I have access to this water, all this water to just like cleanse my body. Grateful for like food that you eat and things like this. And this will help you to, or this person, whoever this is, to not be feeling like they're in such a lack, in such a place of lack. And also gratitude for like the aspects of yourself that that make you who you are, you know? So, we have you're an angel, and this is funny because it's over the angel card that I pulled. This person really thinks highly of you. I think so highly of you. So I think that's why, like, this person feels like they have to pretend because they really think highly of you. We also have, is it too late? So someone's, it could be someone from your past who you're trying to release yourself from that is 
like you're trying to have this liberation, you're trying to release your ex, they're wondering like if it's too late and they're really wishing that things were different between you guys. But they really appreciate who you are, they really look up to you and admire you a lot. I think that could be why like they're so scared of just being an option for you because they, they want to be the one for you perhaps. But that's really that, all that I have to say. Thank you, Leo. I hope that this helped somehow. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that you're safe and that your family is safe and healthy. And I hope that you have a good day or night.